Hi friends. I thought I looked a little bit better than this. <laughs> I am going to take you on my little journey today of um, new things that I am learning to eat that are a little bit healthier for me. I have my cute little mini waffle maker here. Um, we're going to get this going. I am going to make a, I don't know what they call it, chaffle? A to waffle? I don't know what they call it. It's a cheese waffle. So it has lots of protein in it. Just an individual waffle. Actually, I can make two of them. So I just wanted to show you what I'm making. And I also made a really good little snack. You know, at the end of the day or after a meal when you kind of get a craving for a snack. Well, I found one last night. It's cookie dough and it's really good. There's actually chocolate chips in there, so there is some sugar in there. Later today, I will tell you how I make this. It did a pretty good job, but I'm gonna make it differently next time I make it. So if I finish this today, I'll make more of it tonight. It's really, really yummy. So for my little cheese waffle, I'm gonna sacrifice the last egg that I have. Nope, I have two eggs, but you only need one egg. In the mini waffle maker, it'll make you two waffles. All right, so I have an egg. I have some of our leftover peppers from the other night. Then um, grate some cheese, and then I'm gonna put some bacon on them. And last night I used some salt on it, and it was too salty, because the bacon has a Lots of salt. Okay, so we are going to, you don't mix it all together. You literally are gonna pour it onto the waffle maker. That would be awesome. I'm telling him, he had horrible bad gas yesterday. Yeah. You are not allowed to eat it's the like, dried mangoes. No, no, no. You are not allowed to eat the covered I I, blueberries. I church, so I just have like a little power protein bar thing. All <laughs> fetching day. <laughs> so I told him, I said, if you pass gas in my video at all today, <laughs> Like, you're dead. I just need loyalty, huh? Okay. <laughs> we also just finished watching <laughs> Sister Wives. <laughs> I need loyalty. All right, so with Jason being snarky in the background, we've got our little waffle maker hooked up here. It's hot, nice and hot. I'm gonna make sure it's sprayed really good because the cheese will stick really quick if I don't spray that. Okay, so it's nice and hot, and I don't like my eggs like being separated. So I like to scramble it up just a bit. So it is nice and hot. I'm gonna pour in some egg into the, oh, I shouldn't have done egg first. Oh, poopers, should have done cheese first. Ah, it's not gonna work. Yeah, I think it will, just keep. I gotta hurry and get cheese in here all the way around it. Well, I don't think this one's gonna work as much. But I got my cheese and my peppers and my bacon. This one's not gonna work as much. And then you pour a little bit more egg on top. I'm not gonna waste a ton because I want my next one to work better. Can you grate me some more cheese, babe? I don't think this one's gonna work as much. I uh, might be surprised. All right, and then that sits for three minutes. And it's hard to not open it, but just leave it. Alexa off. All right, this one didn't work quite as good, so we're gonna make another one. But you pull it off. First. Yep, yeah, you gotta do the cheese first. So that one, I'm gonna set aside. All right, cheese first. You wanna get it all spread around on the bottom. That's what's gonna make it crusty. And then you pour your egg in, and I'm gonna use the rest of this egg. And I'm gonna spread the egg out across. And I'm gonna put my peppers in. Kind of has some of the cheese in there as well. All the rest of this in there. Probably need a little bit more cheese on top, but I don't have any more grated. And then a little bit of bacon. Bacon piece for every bite. And then again, Alexa, set two minute timer. See, that's the crusty you like. It makes a huge difference on the outside. Jason would like to show you a hack on how to clean the waffle maker afterward. Any waffle maker. Uh-huh. Like this. And get it wet. Then you go. Steam cleans it. That way you don't have to get extra crap afterwards into it. Steam cleans it. Hack of the day. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go eat my chuffle. It's pretty good. So we're headed to Costco. Um, I have to mail a package really quick. It's Abby's phone. Head to Costco again. Yes, we're going again. We tried to just get things on stock up last time we went on that big um, Costco haul that we had the other day. Um, but we're just going in for basic stuff. We are hoping to get eggs. We, are, we have one egg left um, and milk and fruit and that's it. Like, that's it. Under 100, if not under 50 for our Costco spending today. But fun news from yesterday, and hopefully this isn't a spoiler for anyone because it's like gonna be like a week later, but our Seahawks, our beloved Seahawks, won their game yesterday. We spent all day on the couch yesterday, all day, outside of church. So we did go to church and on all that. And then we came home and watched the Seahawks for the rest of the afternoon. But not only did they win their game, 
but then we watched the game against the Lions, Lions and, the and the Packers because our only chance at getting into the playoffs was if the Packers lost and they did it was such a nail biter right at the very end of the game just so like sorry to all the Packers fans I'm very they, sorry they got eliminated, that eliminated yeah that knocked them out but it gave us a spot into the playoffs everyone doubted especially Jacob he doubted our pair our uh, because the Packers they, they probably should have beat the Lions but I don't know they're pretty they're they were tight they eight and eight, 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 and eight each so it was a, a good matchup and Clearly, the better team won. <laughs> I don't even they care did about play their team. Really good. They did play well. The Lions did play really good. Um, there were a couple moves at the very end of the game that really like clinched it for them. They needed to go the other way to this thing. Um, so anyway, oh, here we go. they are in the playoffs. Very excited for them. I'm. I love. I love January when we actually still have football. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have no more football, and it gets a little lonely on Sundays. And uh, it's still cold and rainy and you don't want to get outside and do anything, but anywho. So we will hopefully stick to our Costco thing and then uh, I don't know what else we're going get, to get up to. So far so good. And yes, they had eggs and we stocked up. We got the largest container of it. There we go. It's our cheapest one yet. We've had the strangest weather today. Yeah, I'm wearing sunglasses. The sun is out. So this morning and all night long we had like major wind. Like. So many spotty areas are out of power. Today when we were at the bus stop, we saw half of a tree just fly up into the air and then crash to the ground. Branches are so long, it's like the size of a tree. And now it's like sunny skies, so strange. But then up here we have dark clouds. But then right there, sunny skies. And then over there, dark clouds. All right, currently I'm working on Kaylee's senior ad in their yearbook. Look at that, isn't that so cute? I'm just kind of picking and choosing different photos. We had a different photo um, before. Well, anyway, it was this one right here. That one of her in the water, but she kind of likes this layout. She's gonna get home and kind of look at it in person. I've been sending her photos of it and see if she approves of like the little blurb we wrote here. Um, just little congratulations from mom and dad and from her sisters. Um, and just trying to decide if we do one baby picture or if we add more baby pictures. And unfortunately, I don't have very many digital photos <laughs> from when she was little, but I do have a lot of scrapbooks of her. This is back when scrapbooking was kind of more of a thing. That was the day she came home from the hospital. I thought it would just be kind of fun to just kind of show her little scrapbook here. I don't know, look at us young little chaps. Um, but also, Getting over here to actual little photos. Look at the little squirt. This is the day she was blessed at our church. And that was just kind of sitting outside the church grounds. And we're just kind of trying to soak in the day. That is my sister. This was like our first walk um, that we took her on. It was probably about two weeks after she was born. I was pretty proud of myself for going on a little mini walk. Um, again, this is her blessing day. I don't know, just kind of fun memories. This is one of my favorite photos. This is the other photo we're trying to decide if we add to her yearbook thing, but I don't want to take away by adding me in it. Um, we could just crop and have her in it, but uh, we do have this photo in there. This is a picture of me and my three sister, two sisters, missing one of my sisters. But look, this is my dad. This is like how he was with babies. This is why it, like babies mean so much to him. Because he would come and he would just, okay, give me the baby. Let me bundle her up. Let me rock her to sleep. And he would just sit here and he's probably doodling. Doing his little, like, you know, invention stuff and doodling. And he would just rock anywhere until those babies would fall asleep. And he's the master burper as well. Um, this is friends of ours from Alaska and from church. They all knew each other in Alaska. Um, we're here visiting when Ashley or when Kaylee <laughs> was blessed at church. They were actually here in Seattle. These, this friend um, had just had a baby as well. She's Jason's age. And her mom were here in Seattle um, to be with Jason's mom. Like I said, they all grew up in Alaska and they were here as his mom was passing away. They passed away when Kaylee was two months old. And so that friend, her name is Lindsay, this one here in the photo, 
she had a baby. I think she was probably still pregnant. She had a baby right after Kaylee was born. Um, and then Jason's sister had a baby right before I was, or right before Kaylee was born. And so they just stayed here for like two or three months and until she had her baby. And then we have a photo. I'm wondering if it's here. Um, we have a photo of all of our babies together. Anyway, it's kind of fun. Oh, these, this one's her cousin. So this is her cousin that was born um, two months before her. And then look how chunky she is. And Kaylee is just really long. Um, that's what I looked like back then. But it was fun. They spent a lot of time together because his sister was here visiting from China. That's Jason's dad and the two babies. Um, oh, here we are. Here we are. That's Jason's sister. And then this is their friend, Lindsay, and all of us with our babies at Jason's mom's house. It's probably trying to figure out what, what month this was. That was kind of a neat time to be able to like spend time with these babies before his mom passed away. I think she was, yeah, she hadn't passed away yet when they were all born. But, um, oh yeah, that's the photo I can remember. All these little babies all together. Oh, look at that. That's our, one of our She's first so family cute. photos. This oh, is JC yeah. Penny portrait to a max right yes. there. She was such a good kid. Yeah, she Still was. Is. All right, so do you want to show them the little tool we got in the mail? Yeah. See if it works? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to use it. But you're skeptical. Oh. Are you skeptical of it? Or you're excited? I'm not skeptical. Okay, let's see how, how good it does. Is the cartridge empty in the vacuum? Uh, I'll check. Okay. All right, this just came in the mail. I ordered this. It actually took a while because I allowed it to take a while so I could get some credit on Amazon because <laughs> I didn't need it to rush. But it's a dryer lint vacuum attachment. So depending on what kind of vacuum you have, you attach this little adapter and then it gets a hose. So you can get down into your dryer vent, but there's also a little brush that you can help clean it out with. So we're gonna go see how well it works. Yeah, so then it creates a little nozzle that fits uh, down into the vent yeah, smaller. Yeah. So These brushes mm. yeah, it's long. You might be able to use it outside too. Yeah, because we gotta go up in there. We gotta yeah. And then this is just another little hose that hooks onto that one. You know what you could do also as a home hack is you take the long uh, wrapping paper uh, tubes. Uh -huh. And if you tape those to your thing, you could then bend those, squish those, and use that to suck things up. Yeah. Mm. So let's go see. And we currently have an empty, empty oh. cartridge on the vacuum. So we're going to see how much we fill that up and maybe how many times we fill it up. All right. So it fits over because this is like a silicone-y yeah. bendable flexible. material. It's way more flexible than I thought. Okay. Let's try it out. You take this out. I have some on there to get out. Sure. He's getting a headlamp to kind of see in there better. We're gonna empty it out and see if we get more. That's like not even like halfway. So we'll see. All right, that's emptied again. We're gonna try it again. All right, so that one didn't get as much, but apparently Jason just um, took the whole vent thing apart the other day uh, not the other day, a couple weeks ago. I didn't know that, so. Um, we got a little bit more. So before, the vent wouldn't go all the way down. Couldn't push yeah. it all the way down. That's like locked in place. And that one's all the way down in now. All right, not exactly the best day to do this. It's pouring rain. Okay, we have cardboard for the vacuum to sit on. Although this part of the, the ground isn't that wet because it's, I don't know why, it doesn't get wet on this side. Apparently our neighbor doesn't like to actually get rid of this. their yard waste. This. Oh, this is insane. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, I bet this is like totally plugged up. All right, so we're gonna put the brush on first. Yeah. Onto that end. It's really bad over there. 
Well, I want to brush it first. I know, that's what I just said. Okay. You got your thumbnail for all this junk? No, I don't. It's really coming down now, so I need to protect my man. Protect my man. <laughs> Gotta protect his hair, his gel. <laughs> he came in Watch and he's this. like. Watch this. Like, I've got like. It's just getting choked coming out of here. Don't oh. you want to vacuum it out? Well, first I want to break it free. It's really like. Clogged up? In there. Like, I took clumps out of this. They were like clumps. Look at it. Oh, it's like all over the ground down there. You want to get a shot of this? That's probably good nest material for little birdies, little yeah. squirrels. like a major fire hazard but I'm not gonna pay someone like $500 to do this maybe maybe but I think we can get it cleaned out pretty good you can hear it like coming into the hose get it. Go in there. oh there we go oh wow it's in that's cool there hey, yeah there's a lot in there you're still getting stuff so wet. it's like all over we got our house painted how many years ago? A few years. Two? It was before the pandemic. Oh, was it? Yeah. So it was newly painted a couple years ago, maybe three, four years ago. So this is all just like covering over that paint. So we're just trying to scrape it off and... Just get it off. Yeah. Let's see what this is Trying to loosen it up in there. Gross. He's really cleaning it off good using the side of the hose. What is not this hose. one? What is that vent? Is there stuff in that one? Why are there two? Uh, There's another one down there. Obviously that doesn't kick out. It could be plumbing vent. Just like air vent. Or... That's just an air vent. Yeah, but it's got crap coming out of it. All right, let's see what this one. Oh. There's a stopper over that one. Yeah. <laughs> Mission accomplished? Mission accomplished. No fire hazard anymore? And some might say, why did you do it in the pouring rain? Because for the next eight months, it's gonna rain. <laughs> so, so you have to do crap in the rain, um, except for weed and, yeah. and rake the leaves that our HOA says we have to rake in February. I love the announcers on the football game. They're like, this looks like a lot of rain, but the Seattle people are telling me this is just rain. This is, <laughs> it is just rain. It's ridiculous. That was just a normal no, rainy like, day in Seattle. Rain. He's talking about the football game yesterday. Football. But the rain is washing the precious car off. You know, because we take care of his car more often than my car now. See how dirty my car is? Yeah. It doesn't get as much love these days. It's okay. I understand. What do you mean you understand? <laughs> you gotta, why don't you love it? Because I don't dare take it through the car wash. Oh, hey, I'll take it. That's fair. That's I fair. I don't it's take scary. Any through the car wash anymore. If you want to take it down, we'll wash it. I'll wash it. Yeah, but you have to wash it by hand, and that's not fun to me. <laughs> it used to be fun to go through the car wash. It did. Was fun. Now it's like nerve wracking. All right, I've been doing a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> no, not a whole lot of nothing, but just a lot of kind of computer work. Hang on. I needed to um, design Kaylee's senior ad. I guess I do little, um, you know, personal notes in the yearbooks. So I had to order that and design it. I, had, I kept having to go back and forth with Kaylee at school and then she came home and so I was able to go through it with her. Also went through her little, um, what do you call it, baby book with her and Jacob, which was kind of fun um, for him to see her as a baby. Anyway, it's going to be good. But I'm here in the car with this squirt. What are we doing? I'm Where are we going? To, going to get my friend a present. A friend a present. Her friend is having a very last minute birthday party tomorrow night, which is a school night, <laughs> which is a little crazy um, yeah. that we're letting her go do this. But it's just the only night that her Except parents... Except it's also a Wednesday night, so it's... No, it's a Tuesday night. It's tomorrow night. And yeah. you don't have late start on Wednesday. Yeah, but it's still like a short day, so... It's a short day, yes. So she's going to, um, like, a kid's bounce, like a trampoline park. Mm -hmm. And so um, she's going to be tired when she gets home, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, this girl, I don't know why. She doesn't get very tired. Whoop. 
car suddenly moved because I put the foot on the brake. Um, but we gotta hurry and get back at this car because I think Dad is going to watch football at a friend's house. I don't know what game he's going to watch because we already know what happened with the Seahawks. So I don't know what he's going to do, but he doesn't know we're taking his car right now. I don't know where he is. I'm assuming he's upstairs, but he's about to find out. He'll get an alert on his phone that I'm leaving. Actually, what do you want to bet he texts me? Why is my car moving? Where are you going with my car? Obviously, he'll ask really me. It. Yeah, he'll because it'll alert that I turn the car on and that it's warmed up and and that it'll it's leaving. Also, it'll also um if he comes home and says like, oh, do you went to Target or? Yeah, he'll totally track us once he does see or that it's he moving. Says, oh, it's cool, I like how the Tesla moves and stuff. I know. He's, that's he's a little he stalker when it comes to this car. Um. Anyway. Okay, we're gonna go to Target really quick. Also, Jason changed the lights in these little coasters, so they change colors. Isn't that so cool? I just wish they had like a purpley pink color. It just kind of rotates between red, orange, yellow, green, and then back. They're pretty fun. All right, so Ashley is a little twit because she turned on the car. She grabbed my phone. I'm gonna do it now even though I don't need to turn. Uh, she turned the turn signal on yeah, you heard that right. Yep, she she's a little stinker. No pun intended. She, I was wondering why she wanted to hop in the car so so much. Well, I didn't actually think of it before that I got in and turned my CR. I was like, what can I do? Yeah. <laughs> she turned it on to warm it up. It, it wasn't conditioned to go out right now because we didn't plan to go out. So I went to make my first left-hand turn and little uh, two-ditch. Straight to the Squishmallow section. This is not for you. This, this is, is not for rare. you. This is very, very, very it's $25. Rare. Do you even have $25? I think so. That No, you don't have enough because then you can't buy your friend a gift. Yes, I can. No, you yes, don't. No, you don't have enough money. Okay. Just, just figure it out. <laughs> no. All right, I found a little storage container for Ashley to put her new paints in, right? And she doesn't really want to talk about what's in her hand. She is buying it, but it means someone else is gonna buy that. And there's an IOU. What does IOU mean? I oh, yeah. you. you money. Yeah. We don't want to talk about it any more than that, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to say who this is that we're not talking about? Brianna. Brianna, uh, a Bigfoot, mm -hmm. okay. I need you to say that on camera. Dad made her some sandwiches for when she got home. Got her a little dinner out, right? And I was like, oh, he cuts all the crust off for you. And I then- I don't care about the crust, but he still does it. And I don't care about it because I like it either way. <laughs> <laughs> but you like him pampering you? No, I also don't like <coughs> I like it this way more, but I also don't care. It's okay. not good. Well, he'll see this eventually, but <laughs> I won't pay attention to it. He only puts it right there. He leaves it. I know. <coughs> okay, well, we're also going to quickly put her paints in here. That's dad's stuff. Okay. Put paints in here, and it'll be cuter in white sitting here on the counter. I just just went like that. <laughs> Didn't take the lid off. Okay, since these are hers, she got her own bucket, but I'm showing her that you put them in upside down still. I knew how to do it, but. Just forgot. And then we're going to put paint brushes in here. They're on the counter. We washed all of her paint brushes. Now we can put them back in. Okay. Ashley has a good idea. So Well, wait, 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 wait. Take out the paint brushes. Take the paint brushes out. Yep, then take those out. We're going to squish this in here. Those ones don't fall out. Creates an edge. And when the paint brushes go in, they don't mess up the bucket. Yeah. Smart. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the lid on. She paints every day, you guys. There's no putting this away. <laughs> it literally is just, no. Go put that in recycle. All the way to recycle. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. No! Go put it in don't the recycle can. <laughs> yes. That's a monopoly term. Okay. <laughs> so now, I'm gonna turn this off, I was printing. 
Um, now it can just sit here on the counter because I guarantee you she paints every single day. There's no putting that away. And I knew it wouldn't fit on here, which is fine. But it looks good, tucked away, and it can't see through it either. I almost got a see-through one and it looks neater with that. I might even, I don't even know. I could like put a piece of paper, tape it to here so that it's kind of covered up. I might actually do that. A black and white. Ooh, I might do that. A black and white paper taped to the underside of this would be kind of nice. Kind of similar to what I do. I could actually just use that paper if I have any or the polka dot and just kind of put it on the inside of the bucket lid. That way it would just kind of look neater if it doesn't, it's not going to stay this nice. I guarantee you it won't stay that nice. But I'm gonna sign off with you guys. I'm back to working on the computer for a little bit longer. Just checking things off my list. We got a birthday gift for her friend. I don't know if I should do a 2022 review video. By the time you guys see this, it will be, what date? Oh, I didn't show you. I'll show you here in a second. Um, it will be uh, the 13th of January. <laughs> Is that too late? If you guys see this, and I haven't done a review video. Maybe what I'll do, if I do a review video, I will post it as soon as I get it done. And if it's before this video goes out, say la vie and I got it done. But really there's only four days until this video comes out. <laughs> Current day to, well, anyway. I can't get a review video done in four days. Leave a comment down below if you would like me to do a 2022 review video. It takes a lot of work, which I don't mind doing but it might take me a little bit of time to get it done. I can definitely get it done in January. And I do love those videos. I put them on the main page of my, of my page for people to kind of drop in on if they find my channel. Um, and I love having them. So I guess I shouldn't not do it. And that's a really good workout session. <laughs> it's a really good workout to sit and work on that long of a video. So I guess that's what I should do tomorrow. I have, well, I have plans tomorrow, not my plans. I have mom plans. I have taxi duty tomorrow. But in middle of our day, Jason and I ran over to Staples and I went ahead and got this bound. This is my little YouTube calendar notebook. I got it spiral bound. It was like $7. It's super cheap, especially if you print your own paper um, or bring your own paper to get bound. Um, so I am going to start that out with my January videos start to schedule my life out that way but I'm gonna sign off with you guys and get the kids ready for bed because it's already it's only 6 30 <sighs> thought it was bedtime it's not even anywhere close to bedtime good night I'm signing off with you guys take care Easy.